Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Read. Let's Read. A haze in Equestria. Not dissimilar to the fucking haze that's coming out of the goddamn car that person keeps on trying to turn. It's not going to turn over. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> It's not gonna turn on. Oh my god! Called, oh, oh, this is oh, chapter oh, three. Oh, a haze, haze on a train. <laughs> we, now, now all we need is a haze on a plane, Let's and do this we need thing. that one starring Samuel L. Jackson. Oh my so god! Yeah. I'm, I'm so sick of these motherfucking haze on this motherfucking train. train. So anyway, um, I will be playing the part of the main character. I believe. Uh, we fucking sprinkled the goddamn driver. Uh, Meyer, I was, uh, I was the hornheads. Yeah, Meyer's going to be the narrator, yeah. and then Nero is the king. Pig. I know. Um, no, no, Nero's going to play the hornheads. Um, yeah, Blue's going to be the winged ponuses. Winner's going to be the earth ponuses, and I will also play the other. Uh, I have read this. I have read this, and there are no earth ponies. You will play the alicorns then, that are not silver haze. So, so he's playing the Let's read. and the anti Yes. Yes. The train, wa the train ride was really quick, taking only ten minutes to get to Canterlot. Nothing happened except for when I talked to the main six a bit more, but not about anything important. Hold on, why is he calling Run. them the main six? He's been calling them that all story. There's the main character. <laughs> when we got to the station, we got out and walked towards the castle. The, the cat stole. <laughs> Me and Twilight lagged behind to talk. We found we had a lot of common interests in oh, reading and magic, and we were both royalty. Twilight stated, acting really weird, though. She didn't look at me when I tried to talk to her. Thinking nothing of it, we got to the castle, and we entered, and the guard took us to the royal throne room. I'm sorry, I, I just got a little bit dizzy. Okay. All right, so Winter, you are playing the other Alan Corn, so you will be playing Celestin. And Luna. Hello, Elements. Have you brought the Alicorn here? She's just calling them the Elements now. Yes. Hello, <laughs> Anime. I looked up and saw a large white Alicorn with a sun for a cutie mark and a rainbow flowing mane. She looked at me and I thought I saw her eyes go wide like she recognized me, but then oh. she went back to being calm. Oh, oh, oh. You are. Celeste asked. I cleared my throat and bowed down. And that was all one sentence. I am Silver Hayes of Alicorna. I come from. Once again, I, it changes. I come with news of its fall. It is winter will come next, and then the spring. Oh, no. Summer precedes it. <laughs> we were attacked by a strange smoke monster, and we could not survive. Except for me. In, in, including you. <laughs> yes, we could not survive. Except for me. Oh, I'm not. There. The royal we. But in reverse, I was the only one to escape. Uh, Celestia seemed saddened by this. Well, that is unfortunate. Still, thank you. We must prepare the elements if the smoke comes here to attack Equestria! <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> a voice no, no <laughs> Suddenly, a voice I recognized from a long time ago came from the doorway. It was not Luna, it was apparently... Uh, sorry, it was, it was Luna, but apparently Celestia didn't register at all. Also, I like the fact that it's like, you know, uh, she seems saddened with... Eh, well, that's unfortunate. A anyway, more importantly, FUCK, WE'RE ALL GONNA DIE! <laughs> it's right! I didn't explode. realize the three exclamation points. Are... <laughs> <Yeah>. hmm? <All right. clears throat> Sister, thou, ki thou kitchen wenches are out of cake. <laughs> what the fuck? No, oh, that, no. that, that is one sentence. Sister, thou kitchen wenches are out right. of cake. Alright, let's, let's translate this. Yo, sis, them bitches are out of cake. Basically. <laughs> She, she is basically... Hayes is, uh, wait, it, it changed perspective again. Silver Haze's head whipped around <laughs> as he looked at the what alicorn the who had walked into the room. Luna! 
My I wife was surprised. The narrator yelled. <laughs> Silver! Luna gasped as she saw me. Oh god, this is... This is oh no. Oh fuck. Flashback. 2,343 years ago. Oh, 2,343 so years. 24 months and one hour. Hold on, hold on a second. Um... Why do I smell taco meat? So I'm just I'm gonna look this up real quick. I'm gonna look this up real quick because I I want to know something here. Oh, sorry. I I'll be right back. I just I smelled taco meat. Like when All I right. smelled shit, but it was actually oh. coming from my room. Oh because no! Because the cat shat in there. Didn't <laughs> and it oh. shat on my art. And it ruined it. Oh my! So, oh shit! That actually sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's that how nice. terribly unlikely. What? I said how terribly unlikely that the, is the, to like, have happened. That, that's, yeah, that yeah it actually thing. happened though. The yeah, worst part, because yeah. I, I had a print that was from school when I, I when I brought home, and it was uh, it was on the floor of my room. That is, I, I and the cat was just like, "This is a good place right now." Yeah. Okay, so okay, so I, I, so what did you look up? Do so, <clears throat> according to the story, and I know this is a different universe and everything, but it's this is taking place. 2,343 years ago. So keep in mind that within the context of the story, if this was in the real world, this meeting between these two characters would be taking place in the year 327 okay. BC. Alarm. There was no taco meat. It was just chicken. <clears throat> being in the pre-Julian Roman calendar, <laughs> this, was, this would have been during the time of the uh, Macedonian Empire when Alexander the Great was invading northern India. Nice. And uh, the relationship between Alexander and Aristotle, who was still alive, uh, were better to the point of the execution of Aristotle's nephew. Also, I'm pretty sure can it's you, like it's can canon you, uh, can you, like, in MLP. Uh, I, I, I may or may not have failed most of my history classes. Okay, so basically, I, I, I'm fairly certain it's canon in MLP that like Celestia was not even born two thousand years ago. Yeah, I think she was only yeah. like a couple hundred years old. But yeah, so I, I'm just saying, like you know, I I know this is probably relatively irrelevant to most of you, but I want you to really just take into consideration how fucking long ago this would have been. Yeah, two thousand years that, ago. Was long yeah, ago. no, not even just two thousand years ago. This is two thousand three hundred and forty-three years ago. Again, this is yeah. so fucking far back. That in real world terms, fucking Aristotle was still alive. Yeah. Like, which is fucking. The, these characters in this next scene, talking the way they do, interacting the way they do, and mm -hmm. remembering all of this so it relates to the present, would be like fucking Aristotle if he was an immortal vampire meeting up with me today, also an immortal <laughs> vampire, and talking about, like, oh shit, yeah, you remember that time so that Alexander dicked around with your nephew? Dude, that sucked. This is also something interesting to consider. <laughs> it's like, it's if, like if Aristotle walked into the room and went, what's up, bitch? If the princesses perceive time logarithmically like humans do, then uh, in the present, they would perceive time at a rate um, by which, to them, one year would be enough time for six forests to grow and die. Yeah. Like, so, the, anyway, total bullshit. Two young alicorns played in a small field on the outside of the Island of Kindness, the smaller one. A moonlight blue alicorn filly giggled as she ran away from a slightly bigger alicorn colt who was laughing as he chased her around. Eventually, the colt managed to catch her, and they both tumbled down the small slope, laughing all the way. And then he had sex with her. As they both landed at the bottom, they lay... they lied beside each other looking up at the sky getting rid of their last of their mirth of, of the last of their mirth i am no longer happy <laughs> what the fuck is mirth? <laughs> it's like happiness and, ah yeah. okay. they just la lay eyed and looked up at the sky okay what L li lied lied yeah. luna looked at silver li and smiled. Li lied okay urban dictionary Hey, it has no definition. I, I it is apparently it is apparently a family last name. Yeah, I think this must be laid. But okay, so <clears throat> yeah. Luna. Hey, Silver. Hmm. Silver looked over to his friend. Oh, fuck off. 
What is it, Lulu? Are you annoyed about how Carthage is still taking tariffing Roman citizens? Does my voice annoy you? Well, of course, but we should get married someday. Silver looked over in shock. Ew! No, you have cooties, not unlike the Babylonians. What a game! A light hit on the shoulder. You gay. On on the sh shoulder. Shoulder. Sheldor. Cloister is my Not favorite. right now, dum dum. I mean, someday when we're older. Silver thought this and over for a second, actually, then smiled. And when it's actually not really creepy. Yeah. Sure. We could have a big party, and we'll invite all of our friends, but not those dirty fucking, galls. That's what a fucking Shh. wedding is. Luna nodded, also smiling. And we could have horns. a cake. Lots of cake. Yeah, that's also kind of a normal thing with weddings. And we could eat it with our hooves. We can well, have... began thinking about cake. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, suddenly third-person omnipotent narrator. <laughs> I'm sorry, just all out of the blue. <laughs> we should get married. We should have a party. Yeah, there should be cake. Of them started thinking about cake. I'll take, uh, weddings for 300. <laughs> what, what do alicorns start to think about? Oh my uh, what is cake? Yeah, what's involved in a wedding? Uh, cake, uh, parties, uh, marriage, uh... <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> Silver? Luna stood up and looked to her friend. Yes, Luke is. Silver Hayes responded. Let's, you yes. have to promise me that you have to promise me one day when we're both grown up and have our own castles and stuff, we'll get married, okay? Wow, okay. okay. I <laughs> promise. Okay. As the moon revol as the sun as the earth revolves around the moon, I shall promise you this. <laughs> and then the two young alicorns sealed it with a hug and a very awkward kiss that left them both disgusted. Oh fuck! <laughs> Yeah, and it was on. Mouths. And it was yeah. on that day both learned they were gay. <laughs> Before they could do anything else, a voice rang out over the field, over the filly. Sister, lunchtime. Ildi, Luna turned to Silver and smiled. I'll see you later, Silver Hayes. I smile and nod. Bye, Lulu. No, I'm no, off to brunch with line. Alexander the bye, Great. Lulu. Oh, yeah, sorry. Bye. Purchase so he, Lulu. She is going to buy Lulu as a slave. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's legal this time in history. <laughs> she, she's a she's going to be a she's a Peblian, so she can be uh, actually Romans were legally allowed to own slaves, not fellow Roman citizens, but they're clearly not Romans. So uh, <laughs> that Pokemon. So yeah, she's she's a, she's she's <laughs> she's buy, he's buying her. What was the last God. one? My my memory was suddenly doused of, of how I knew the, these two alicorns. It was Celestia and Luna. They were born. They were born like me in Alicornia and escaped the island. I was suddenly hey, caught in a island. giant hug by Luna. I was surprised by the sudden affection. Man, these. These other immortals and their affection, how pity. No. How pity when both. raised in Alicornia, we are taught to never have emotion. Rule with an iron fist. Which is why it was so everybody. sudden. Wait, so sudden. if you two fled Alicornia, why did you come here to rule over these plebeians? I mean, ponies. <laughs> I was very confused. Barbarians. Barbarians. Let's aside before speaking. These ponies were lost. They were fighting and choosing to do bad things. It was only right that we create harmony and that taught them me. to only do good things. We fled Alicornia because they didn't care about non alicorns that lived outside of Alicornia. Uh, okay. I lived okay. outside Alicornia, I should say. Okay, okay, okay. So, <clears throat> I, I, I have something to say in, re in, in relation to this. <clears throat> Take up the alicorn's burden. Send forth uh, the beast ye breed. Go send your sons to exile to serve your captives' needs. To wait in heavy hardness on fluttered folk in wild. 
your new Katsalan peoples, half devil and half child, take up the Alicorn's burden in presence to, uh, to abide, to veil the threats of terror and check the shallow pride. By open speech and simple, and hundred times made plain, to seek another's profit, and work another's gain. Take up the alicorn's burden, and reap his own his old reward, and blame of those ye better, the hate of those ye guard. <laughs> wow. It's it's fucking like imperialism is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> I sorry sorry my next line is I nodded quickly noticing that Luna was still hugging me I told her to please let go and she did with a blush suddenly she got an idea why don't thou come and see the observatory why don't thou observe my ass <laughs> it's it's what? quite the why sight why doesn't she thou grab- come okay. and take a look through our telescope you can see my anus I mean your anus she grabbed my hoof with magic and began pulling me towards the stairs. Suddenly, I felt some pony else magic on my other hoof and saw Twilight Horn glowing. Twilight Horn glowing. Yeet. Do. This is, uh, this is Twilight. Okay. Twilight. Um, would that be me or Winter? I think that's this would be you, that's because we, we've counted uh, Twilight as being a unicorn. Okay. Well, Luna, I, I was going to show Silver here, Pony Joe's Donut Shop, dot, 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 it is the best donut shop in the Equestria, don't donuts. <laughs> Equestria, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. What's with all the triple exclamation points? I don't know. Because if there ain't three... There are no mares. I said, getting pulled one way by Luna and the other by Twilight. The observatory! Pony Joe's. The observatory! Pony Joe's. The world, though! <laughs> no. Time has stomped for five seconds. Oh, this is Celestia. Yeah, Celestia. Both of you, quiet! Silver A's was surprised by Celestia's sudden screaming as I hit the floor as both of <laughs> were surprised as well. Meyer duck and covered. All right, so now it's Celestia again, I believe. I understand that both of you wish to spend time with Silver. However, we have bigger problems on our hooves. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Hype! If this black small goes to Equestria, we will all be doomed! Okay, can we have, like, consistency here with the color of the smog? Yeah. I... It's gray, and it's yeah. black, and it's a creature, and it's one it's, monster, it, and it's... Yeah. And it's silver, and it's, it's yellow, army. and it's purple, and it's Steve, and it's George, and it's Donner, and it's Glitz, and... Army, it's not an army. Malbatterus, I mean, oh, fuck. fuck. I apologize, right. sir, and to you, Twilight. Dragon? After thousands of years, I merely wish to see one of my old friends... This is cock. ...had not perished with the passing time. Yeah, there is God. I also apologize, Princess. It was selfish of me to want silver all to myself. I'll be here in the background. I'll be this hanging from the ceiling if you need me. Twilight then blushed as she realized what it sounded like. I, I mean, it was selfish to want to bone silver <laughs> when you wanted to bone him. Just rape him. <laughs> Hey, we're still I mean, living the dream in the 3B school society. Oh no! Albatarus, the brony dragon. Su- suddenly, I heard a voice in my head. Lil, I guess? Sure, Lil. I'm going to be the voice in their head. Oh, yes. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, I, this is Celestia. I write oh, like okay. these in italics. I don't give a <laughs> shit. I'll be the voice in someone's yeah, head. You, you be vo- yeah, you be like mental Celestia. Listen. Silver Hage, I lost my sister to hatred and anger a thousand years ago. If you hurt her in any way, I will personally send you into the sun. 
Am I clear? I looked to Celestia, who was staring at me. She I lost her <laughs> capitalization. Understanding her. Okay, so I believe this is Celestia? It looks like it. I'll go with that. Well, it is late, and since Silver has not a place to stay, I will put him up in the castle for now. I nodded and two guards came out and led me to a spare bedroom. I went inside and sat down on the bed and thought about how I was the only one to escape my home. Still better, I survived then to ever, for every pony to die. Jesus. Then there was a knock at the door, so I went over it to it and found Princess Luna. Jesus Christ. Zero punctuations. <laughs> no, one at the very yeah, end. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like two. Zero punctuation. Yeah. yeah. No, then. <clears throat> Hey, Lulu! What the fuck was that? I have no clue. Sounds like tape. Yeah. Oh. That, sound, that sounded. That sounded like someone Balloons. being electrocuted. Let's keep going. Do we? Hey, Lulu. She smiled as she realized I still remembered her old nickname. Oh God, her sleep. Gre oh, greetings, God. Silver. Would you like to go to my room and play some games? Like strip like poker? <laughs> I smiled and nodded. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm sorry. I just realized that they're not, you know, wearing clothes. Okay. Yeah. That makes it even better. Every time they lose, they have to shave off another patch of their fur. No, it should just be put my cock in your pussy poker. <laughs> no, it weed with oh. glee and finally having some pony to play with. Chicka chicka bow wow. She's like a child. Oh my god. I just realized if you actually take the interpretation, yeah. it kind of works. It's like, oh, I was a little girl who was shoved on the, into isolation for like a hundred goddamn years and has gone completely batshit insane and doesn't actually know how to react to people outside of like childlike memories. God. And oh, yelling at them. That is actually I don't very think it's sad. Just, it's it's don't fucking messed up. You have something interesting. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah, something, no. something that a smart person would do. Yeah. We went back to her artsy. room, yes. and we played some games like chess and checkers. After it got dark, Luna su swami. suggested we play a more fun game for the time. <laughs> this oh God! It's called Last Sally, Sally and Standing. Even though the name is slightly misleading, the rules are simple. We each flip over a card, and the player with the highest card takes a shot. So it's war. We keep oh, playing she's trying until to get his someone... ass drunk so she can yeah. rape him. Until okay. someone yields or passes out. Uh, yields. Okay, yells. the word suggested is uh, not a word. <laughs> wait, in, in wait, any area fuck. of the no, world. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, from any wait, point, no. It's no one's name on anything whatsoever. No, Literally, all shit. I got was... was Things saying, this is how you fix the spelling error first. Suggested. Hold on, hold on, shit! You gotta finish this the, this paragraph because this is the greatest fucking paragraph. I nodded. Oh it God, sounded it's fun it's enough. Going. I I nodded. It sounded fun enough. Luna got out the glasses and a big jug <laughs> of Moonshire that she apparently made herself, and we started playing Moonshire. So she's a so she makes her own Moonshire. She, she's been on the moon, isolated, for a thousand fucking years, making moonshine. <laughs> okay, a... okay. Out of what? The word, <laughs> the word, the word yell, however, is an actual word. It is an adjective that means not giving milk. Huh. Huh. Well, I guess, oh, I fuck, guess that's, where the, like, that's where the moonshine came from. plantations on the moon? No, no, because it, oh, fuck, because it yelled. Nero put his finger on it where she got the moonshine from. Oh, but, God, you know what this oh, is sorry. reminding me of? This is reminding me of, uh, of Gelded. Oh, fuck. No, but it's like, black just pigeon. seriously, fucking admit, Oh, fuck, God, I hate Black oh. so much. No, but I mean, like, seriously, think about this. Like, Luna is literally... An MLP, like, hillbilly. She sits in her shack. She drinks unbelievable amounts of moonshine. She's, like, overwhelmingly excited at playing card games. <laughs> yeah, he ain't playing with no button, no time! She has a super liver. Yeah, and Several just, hours uh, later. Oh, my fucking... I, I think I win. 
Luna was slightly tipsy as she looked closely at the cards on the table. No, I think the kill hard reads the kill spades. Do they not know how to play war? Apparently not. After a mighty yawn, Silver Haze started to get up to leave. Where are you going? Luna stood up and walked over to me. I won't be in my room. I was getting late. I replied. Don't go. I mean, it would be improper for royalty to be seen tipsy in the castle. What do you mean? I, like, you know, <laughs> it's like you're royalty. You could just have them fucking beheaded. You're, you're sitting I raised around... an eyebrow at her. Well, he's the only one in this room. I don't really feel like sleeping on the floor. Hold on. Luna the, way, before... the way he used the word raised is the past tense of the word raise, as in to completely destroy something like a village. <laughs> Why are all of the Gary Stews put in all of these <laughs> positions where they are like, just, just fucking. It's like the universe smiled upon them. The planets aligned. They get everything they, they ever wanted. They get all this, like, all of these great opportunities. And yet, the author self inserts into that position that they've written themselves into, and then acts like a total fucking beta the whole time. <laughs> it's because the they're trying. It's cra they're trying to show how their character is so much is so good. They're not even taking Jeez. advantage of situations. They're that. Mm -hmm. Cool. That makes for good writing that really keeps yeah. you invested in the story. Yeah. Don't go. Uh, I mean, if you hear any music in the background because fucking relatives are just playing. Uh, it's, 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 it's fine. It's, it's not improving that the fucking video. I right. raised an eyebrow at her. Oh, we did? Yeah. Yeah. Luna yeah, blushed fine. before stammering out. Well, we could always share the bed. It's quite big. So you're telling I'm talking, me these, these, I'm, I'm talking about your penis, not these, not these the fucking unicorns. These fucking alicorns are each like 2,500 years old, and they act like they're fucking 15. Yes. Well, again, Luna apparently is a well. No, she was according to the story. Even if she spent like a thousand years on the moon. She would have spent at least 1,346 years growing up and hanging out with people before that they, happened. They must have had sex like tens of thousands of times each. They boned so much. And, and it's like, oh, we're going to sleep with the same man. I yeah. blushed as well. All right. <clears throat> oh, God. Well, I'm... 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 <laughs> Suddenly, Luna was very close to me. Oh. Do you remember when we were younger? We pro we promised to marry each other one day. We were so young and silly. However, my feelings haven't changed. I, I love you, Silver Haze. I have been saving myself for 2,364 as you, Senpai. <laughs> Before I could protest or even speak, she leaned in close and kissed me. Oh my god! By this writer's standards, that's no. like fifth base. An eighth base. Like I, eighth base. I. Luna stopped. It's Suddenly, like twelve home runs and pulled away. And pulled away. Luna. Sorry, I. Sorry, I lost a lot. I'm. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Uh, I... It's called horniness. Maybe, maybe oh, it's no. um, ye the yearly. Before she could continue, I kissed her right back. Bitch, I was in every single one of Caligula's parties. Nothing <laughs> straws me anymore. Oh, here we Suddenly, go. Suddenly, me and Luna were furiously making out. We eventually <laughs> found <laughs> out, found <laughs> out, <laughs> way to the bed. I leaned her down and stood over her, my stallion hood suddenly at attention. Luna Shut gasped at my 15-inch cock. <laughs> Luna's marrow <laughs> me from between her legs. Okay, hold on. I hold took on. my stallion hood and thrust it inside her. She gasped and her legs grabbed around mine. Sweat glistened on my silky black coat as she began no, gasping. I'm going to keep going, Nero. Shut fish the, fuck the sentence. Up. As I thrusted... Harder and harder inside of her, she moaned my name over and over again as she neared or orgasm. After a few more powerful thrusts, 
I felt her walls clench around my dick my as she orgasmed and her juices splattered my cock. I no, grunted. No, it, it, oh my God. And, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, okay, you have, oh, ladies and gentlemen, you have just experienced the longest fucking single sex <laughs> sentence. This is not a sex scene. This is a sex sentence. It spans four fucking lines. <laughs> also, I'd like to acknowledge that uh, my friend, some of you may know him by the name Slipnir with three eyes, uh, has actually worked on a farm with real ponies. That is an in that is an incredibly large dick, even for a pony. That is that is, a, that is o well over well over a foot. I this like is... how this author, unlike every other author, doesn't even dance around with the penis. Yeah. I love uh, how I love how he's just like, I got this 15 inch cock. It's immediately erect, and I'm just gonna thrust it all the way inside of her. No, it's, it's not that even. That would erect. actually cause physical pain, probably. No, no, it, it's not even erect. He just fucking thrusts it inside. No, it said. No, it says no, suddenly, suddenly at attention. Suddenly at attention. Ah. It's like it's on a freaking spring. I grunted, period, as I felt myself getting with one T claws. I, I took my dick out of her bare hood and placed it, it between her teats. I began to rock back and forth as I felt her soft memories on my rock art oh, cock. I grunted as I felt myself my about favorite. to explode. That's my favorite Fallout voice song, Thanks for the Memories. So, Thanks for I'm, the I'm just gonna call it right now, the only sex this person has ever witnessed has been pornography. Oh, yeah, definitely. Alright, so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, anyway. all right, I'm going to, period, period, exclamation point, 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 Before I could finish, I exploded and my cum landed all over Luna's stomach. I fell on the bed and closed my eyes. I felt Luna cuddling up to me, and before I could even do anything, I I was so fucking tired I wasn't and I fell asleep. Because that's she's when not, the porn's She's not ended. even going to wash herself off after that. No, it's needs just going to get Let it fucking crust the yellow on her fucking coat. <laughs> but it's improper to see you tipsy in the... <laughs> okay, he may, he may have a 15-inch cock, but it was like fucking, like, one drop of cum that came out. Yeah, that, it's not, that, as, that it's not as good as the 35-centimeter uh, radius... <laughs> Head of uh, Belial, <laughs> read the author's note as slow as you fucking can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, why, don't, why don't I take over that one since I'm okay, just walking to uh, Belial's room? <clears throat> Wait, what the hell are you doing? Wow! First time writing clop! That went well! Anyway, I got a message that said <laughs> I needed an editor. Yes, so I did. got my friend to edit this. They are not. How edited. did he do? Horrible. Cheers, love, Sylvais. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. You you really need to, you don't just need to you need fire better friends. I'm finally back. Hi. You don't just Hi. fire your editor for this. You shoot them. Uh. <laughs> Here's a good you comment. You literally uh, just shoot your editor in the face. You're telling me this was edited? Well, no, no, if you probably compared this to the first chapter, there was probably some editing. Probably. A tad, but not a much. Tad. You know, the editor is probably around the same age as the author, though. So oh, I'm sure. Certainly. Just shoot your editor. Kill yourself. I don't Please. even know what age the Shoot author. them with a the gun. Oh, um, it fires bullets out of it. Shoot them with like an anti-tank rifle. Which the author is underage too. Railgun. Probably. Napalm. White phosphorus. Who doesn't love carpet bombs? This, Drone this strikes is without These a doubt ones. the greatest, greatest experience of my own Nuclear life. Bombs. <laughs> you old well, you're you're years. basically you're my older than old all of fucking so. life. Yeah. You are older than all of us. So. You're male. What do you, I, what I do, do? Asian as okay, fuck compared to the rest of you. What do you throw to a downer when he's drowning? Another uh, downer. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, you throw him a joy. No, you can't very well throw an anvil, can you? <laughs> you throw him a live grenade and say, here, swallow this. Alright, well, anyway. You so. just pour more water down. I, I, uh, <laughs> 
Oh, what do you call a downer so, at the bottom of the ocean? Not enough downers. So uh, I, I honestly think I would have preferred it to be rape. To be honest, this is this is basically rape. Like these people were clearly intoxicated, well past the point where anyone could consider this bullshit to be. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was a woman. It doesn't really count. Uh, uh, no, what do you mean? It was Silver Haze, so it didn't really count. But uh, well, they were both alicorns. It's like, so it doesn't it's, really it's, like count. it's funny because the alicorns they can't because, be born. It, no, like it's funny because he describes uh, he describes uh, Luna as being just tipsy while uh, while she's acting even drunker than that. But um, yeah. and then Silver Haze is like near passing out. Nothing even fucking happened in the story yet. Well, well like, like other, literally nothing. A, a, like, a country we don't care about was blown the fuck up. Was like, really it's just game? like, premise, yeah, like, we're in Ponyville, sex. Feel... Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Oh, we should read which the comments. Wouldn't, I didn't... wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing if it wasn't, for, like, if, like, that was, like, if they did anything with that. I mean, like, a story shouldn't necessarily, like, go incredibly breakneck <laughs> speed. But, like, <laughs> they're going, they're, they're rushing through everything to get to nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. Just, uh, this right. guy is, co- this, go- this one guy's comment, this story is so bad that I need it in my life. No, not to look at it and think, oh, look how good this is. But to read it and make myself happy because I will never ever be ever write as shitty as this unless I get lobotomized with a calculator. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. lobotomized with a calculator. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so Duck on Quack says uh, this person has the um, the profile picture of a sloth wearing a obey cap with money in the background. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you stop taking English after fourth grade? <laughs> Sorry to hate, but your grammar is just so bad. Like, really unnecessary quota- quotation marks. Ironic. <laughs> <laughs> <And just, laughs> grammar overall. You, space, space, even misspelled Celestia for Christ's sake. It's hard to enjoy the story if I can't understand it. Like, come on. Just dot dot. It was- but there's four dots, not just three. There's four dots. Just in fix space. your grammar and the cloth. That part made me cringe. I'm sorry. Just fix it. Dot dot dot. Pro tip: uh, proofread your comment, calling somebody else incompetent and uh, you know <laughs> unable. Yeah, to. I, I can, from what I got as the Google results on quotation, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> not no, 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 guys. I don't, I don't know what the last duck on quack. seven minutes of this video has been. I don't know. It's a duck on quack, so quack. <clears throat> so anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us, and if you bothered listening through all the rest of that, we will You're see lucky. you guys next time, hopefully for some less role play. Either way, next time. I doubt it. Most likely yes, not. Yes, next time. Yeah.